back and took a look at some of the capacitors that I removed from the RCA 8X541. And I was interested in just seeing how bad the uh, insulation resistance was and uh, did a little uh, research on that as well. I thought I would share with you guys. When we were walking through the repairs, I had mentioned most of those capacitors, or probably 100% of those caps, were leaky. And the ones I've tested 100% are definitely uh, leaky. And all that means is the uh, dielectric is breaking down and the uh, capacitor plates completely short out or have uh, resistance between those plates. An interesting read from Carl Babcock. He was the technical editor for Electronic Servicing. This was a July 1970 article. And he was talking about uh, paper dielectric capacitors. And actually, um, I've always noticed that the uh, paper caps, which were early capacitors, always seem to have leakage. And uh, he just points that out, that of all the uh, capacitors, non-electrolytic, the paper capacitors are the most leaky. And if you look at the upper limit of those uh, capacitors, about uh, three and one-third percent or one-thirtieth of the applied voltage will leak through. You can see here in my Excel chart I put together just playing some what-ifs. If the uh, capacitor itself was rated at X voltage and you can see what the insulation resistance would calculate back to. So not very good numbers. We already know you could have a capacitor actually less than uh, 100 million ohms of resistance and it can cause uh, significant problems, especially if it's a, a coupling capacitor and it falls into a high impedance circuit. Transistors are not near as forgiving as uh, tube or valve type uh, circuits. So in the transistor world, any little bit of leakage can cause the uh, transistor to cut off or really just kind of run wild. One can simply use their uh, VOM, digital multimeter, or VTVM, to measure the uh, insulation resistance. And of course, there will be limitations to that. In a lot of cases, the applied voltage itself will not be sufficient to make the uh, leakage show itself. Other times you're outside the range of the meter itself. For example, using my uh, fluke meter, I'm limited to uh, 30 million ohms. A VTVM, of course, would let me go higher, but you can see the uh, simple circuit that I've built that will allow me to test up to uh, 2 billion ohms, or just north of that, and less than 0.5 nanoamps. Again, you can see the uh, simple design here, just using a transistor as a switch to turn the uh, LED on and off. The LED was set for, uh, I think, around uh, just under 15 milliamps. R1 just restricts the uh, current flow there to the uh, base itself of T1. I've got that set to around uh, 1 milliamp or so. R3 is where the adjustments are done. You can see it runs in parallel to the diode itself. And I'm using a, a 2 meg variable there. And uh, that's adjusted to uh, just let the uh, LED light when uh, resistors in value of 2 billion ohms are placed between the uh, test point locations there. So it's uh, very usable for the uh, non-electrolytic capacitors and only takes just a few minutes here to build 
and uh, you can see it runs off of a 9 volt battery. If you care to download a copy of the uh, schematic and the BOM as well, I'll place that in the show more or description of the video. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Stay well and take care.